Hey everyone, today we're going to take a little uh, trip up the hill to Virginia City where I am looking for this shot that I saw online yesterday that was an old car with the tree growing out of it. Now it's winter still here and so the tree is dead, but it looked like an interesting shot, an interesting place to uh, go check out. But while on my journey today, I'm going to check out my Tamron 2.8 versus my Z lens 24 to 200 f4 to 6.3. Of course, I am using the FTZ adapter with the Tamron. And so it should be interesting to see why I use one over the other. And uh, let's go. Virginia City. So I'm up here in Virginia City. It's a cool little western town and uh, if you've never been up here I, I highly recommend you coming up here and take a take a visit. A lot of cool little shops and, and tons of history up here from from the silver boom of Nevada and right now I'm looking for the, the old car with the tree growing out of it and I think I'm in the right spot because it's probably right there behind me. Okay, so the first thing I like about this Tamron lens is it has a lock on the lens, so it doesn't telescope out when you don't want it to. So one of the things I really do like about this uh, this Tamron lens is the fact that it is 2.8. And when you're looking for those really close-up shots for that really shallow depth of field, this lens just is, is awesome for that. Um, but it is heavy. I mean, it was heavy on my DA10, and my DA10 body was a lot heavier than the Z5. And so if you're gonna be traveling, doing a long hike, this probably, I mean, it's a superb lens, but probably not the best lens you're gonna to wanna to take on a long journey. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch out the lens to the 24 to 200 and um, give you some feedback on that. Now, what a difference this, light, this lens actually makes. It's super light. It's not fatiguing my hand or my arm quite as much as the Tamron G2. The Z24-200, the F4-6.3, to is about the same size in length, I would say, as the Tamron G2, but it is significantly lighter and so much easier to, to use in the same fashion. I was just using it holding, um, holding my Z5 up with the GoPro here. Similar to the Tamron, it also has a lens lock, so it can't telescope out when you don't want it to, essentially, as well. Let's go ahead and take some pictures. So one thing I can confirm from this trip is that that, in fact, is a dead tree. There's gonna be no leaves on that this fall. So if you're not missing anything. I definitely like walking around and shooting with this lens a lot more just simply because of its, its weight. And having the extra reach is nice sometimes. Uh, I find that between about 24 and 70, it stays right around F4, but as soon as I pass the 70 mark, it'll switch into um, a 6.3 and that's the lowest aperture. Okay, well, that wasn't exactly what I'd hoped for. Um, it looks like since the pictures I last saw online, they've built a lot of things around this, including, I don't know if you noticed, the um, the, the Doctor Who, <laughs> Who box, which is kind of cool to see. So I'm gonna head back down the hill, and I saw some pretty cool vistas of the Carson Valley, and hopefully be able to catch some of those shots. Despite being super windy right now, it's absolutely gorgeous out there. The views are incredible. The clouds are just amazing. Everything's just so photogenic right now with the snow and the mountains and such. But one of the things that I really do love about this um, 24 by 70, and as much as I said I hated it before, um, is the weight. And I think it really depends on how you're using the lens, on whether that weight really is going to, to bother you or not. Um, but the weight just adds such a, such a better feel to the overall quality and build of this lens. I mean, 
if you're gonna spend a couple grand on on glass, you want it to feel like you got your money's worth. And this lens here, this lens does that. So one of the important things to consider when you're thinking about either the Tamron 24 to 70 f 2.8 or a Z lens in this case, the, um, the 24 to 200 is, what type of shooter are you? I'm a handheld shooter, as, as you can tell. I use Peak Designs Clutch here, and I usually walk around. I've always been a handheld shooter. Um, you can ask my buddy, Steve, who has always tried to get me to use a tripod. He has succeeded a little bit, but not entirely. And so if you're a tripod user like him, then I would definitely stick with the Tamron. It seemed to me to be a much sturdier lens. And in some cases, I think um, the shadows and highlights actually came out a lot better in this lens than the Z 24 to 200. And I think you really see that in, in the sky more so than any of the other pictures that I took. So whatever lens you choose, I don't think you're gonna make a mistake. This one will run you about a thousand bucks right now. And that's the, uh, the Z lens, the 24 to 200, which I think is a great deal for the quality pictures you're gonna get out of this, as well as the weight and the size. It's a perfect carry around lens. It gives you a lot of range. I don't think you can go wrong with the Tamron 24 to 70 either. It's a great lens, and this is one that's gonna stay in my bag for a while, but may not come with me everywhere now that I've got this lens. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click like and subscribe below. And we'll see you next week. Have a good one.